Rain has stopped for now. People are cleaning up and looking for financial help. Congresswoman Jackie Walorski toured Elkhart to see just how bad the damage is. WSBT 22's DJ Manu was with her. He's live in Elkhart tonight. And DJ, a lot of homes are still underwater. Yeah, right now I'm at the Riverwalk in downtown Elkhart, and you can kind of look behind me to see just how high the water levels are. It's well over the sidewalks to the point you can't even tell where the river and the sidewalks were supposed to meet. Now, the, for the, the river itself and for the water, Wolorski wants people to report that damage when they get back home and see what's going on so city officials can report that for federal aid to come and request for the area. Cars submerged and homes partially underwater. Republican Congresswoman Jackie Walorski says she'll seek federal help after checking out the streets firsthand. This is when the work begins. As the, as the, the waters are receding and the damage will be more visible, uh, we want to make the case to bring federal dollars in here. This water is moving so fast. Walorski how urges people to report damage to their homes to get an exact idea of how much federal aid is needed. She says the reality of the damage will come after the water has returned to normal. We're going to see debris. We're going to see massive amount of cleanup. Um, we're going to see for the first time, for example, inside of, of schools here in Elkhart. We're going to see inside of businesses that are shut down right now. We're coming in here with kayaks and things to get to. Uh, oh, my God. Walorski says she's never seen flooding this bad here. She says it'll go in the history books along with the blizzard of 1978. That's the big weather event that we all kind of set a standard by. I think we're going to be talking about the flood of 2018. Rescue crews are still helping people out of homes. Many residents on 6th Street in Elkhart call this street the hole because of its history of flooding. I owned a house down there and I just sold it not too long ago and I'm glad I did. Houses back down there are going to have to be tore down because of the water damage inside your basement. Some people have worked to help protect homes. Students from several schools spent their day filling and handing out sandbags in Northside Middle School. The mayor called me and said we need help sandbags if you can get groups out to do that. So this is where we ended up here at 3 o'clock and we've been here ever since making sandbags. The kids will be back tomorrow at the middle school handing out bags starting at 4. As for the water damage, Wolorski says people will have 30 days after the, the disaster ends to report any uninsured damage to the Indiana Department of Homeland Security. We do have a link to the damage assessment questionnaire on our website, WSBT.com. You can click right on this story for that. Live in Elkhart, DJ Manu, WSBT 